Happy, happy new year, entertainment daily lovers. Welcome, welcome back. Thanks to God Almighty for making it possible for all of us to see a brand new year. All right, so let's dive right into the hot gist. We are starting this new year with Me Edoche and you Ledoche's gist. Okay, so Me Edoche just responded, or should I say directly responded back to her ex husband, you Edoche. If you've not caught up with that video, please go watch the video and you will see where you Edoche said 2023 was actually his best year, and everybody on social media was looking at him like, huh? Anyway, before we get right into the gist, before we read what May had to say about 2023, please do not forget to subscribe, turn on notifications if you are indeed enjoying the hot gist coming from celebrities youtubers and more let's get right into what may edoche had to say about the year 2023 and this is what she wrote she said dear 2023 you were pregnant on the very first day of january unknown to anyone what you would deliver you dealt with me in most catastrophic ways too many adversaries I, uh, too many adversary misfortune and the worst of it, you stole my own flesh and blood, leaving me in the most devastating, miserable and confused state that I could never have imagined. I lost all hopes and nearly gave up. I had too many questions eating me all up, but I kept hearing that voice echoing, who am I to question God? I struggled so hard and stood on god's word commanding us to give him praise in every situation despite how difficult it is truly i appreciate all the good people you made me cross part with my family friends strangers turned friends and my online family I cannot begin to list name cause it is endless, but I want you all to know that I will forever remain thankful for the incredible level of love and support showered upon me and my family in our most difficult times, in our most difficult times. I'm grateful to God Almighty for, I'm grateful to God, sorry for that distraction. I'm grateful to God Almighty for being, sorry, let's take this again. Said, I'm grateful to God Almighty for being God in my life. In other words, I am so glad that man is not God. That is for sure true. Good that man is not God. Let's keep going. And she said, 2023, it is with all that is with within me i say goodbye to you forever as i embrace the new year 2024 singing my song with a life of thanksgiving a life of forgiveness and a life of commitment to god i pray that god in his infinite mercy and goodness will bless us all and shield us under his constant love affliction shall never rise in our homes in jesus name Amen. Let's all say amen to that. And she said, thanks for doing this with me, my darlings. Wando, who loves to worship God genuinely. So, sorry for that distraction in between. I got interrupted by, you know, family when you're sometimes recording. So sorry that we had to take that line several times to get it. But anyways, this is what May Edoche had to say. But, um, whew, look. What I have to say, this is the part where I have to drop my own two cents. And this is actually the part where you also have to drop your two cents in the comment section. Let's let's keep talking, okay? Let's let's conversate. Let's just talk. I feel like this is a clear example of someone with sense and someone without sense. Why did I say so? When you let Doce posted that stuff, when I saw it, I was like, how can you? That's the first thing. Like, how could you even sit down? Pick up your phone to type such nonsense and post it saying that that year is actually your best year. If not for nothing, you lost a child. That should not be your best year. No parents will ever, like no sane. Let me not say no parents because some parents are, are actually insane. Some of them are not sane. So no sane parent would have posted something like that. It's almost like he had no value for the life of his child. It seemed like he, he acts like someone that something is absolutely wrong with him. 
upstairs. Like there's something wrong with you, Ledoche's head. And when you say things like people like, hey, it's not of your business. You people should stop dragging. No, he knows what he's doing and he's enjoying every bit of it. He came out and he was busy acting like someone that nothing actually happened. Now, comparing his own post to May Edoche's post, which of this post make more sense if you're watching this video? That's, that's just a question I want to ask. Which of this post makes more sense? If you ask me, I will tell you May Edoche's post is more reasonable because sometimes people come out towards the end of the year to post, you know, to write about their life for that year, good, bad, how, you know, way in and all of that. And I know, I remember even when uh, likes of AY, AY's house got burnt down, he had a lot to say, you know, about the year. So I was thinking somebody like you, Ledoche, that it's a life we're talking about, not even properties. People that lost properties and stuff like that were still crying, complaining how 2023 dealt with them. And you lost a lot and yet you still don't see it or you, you refuse to acknowledge it. Because maybe he, he's feeling like if he does, uh, they will see it as weakness or something, which is, which is not. Which is not. But I just don't understand you.